Hello guys, in this video we're gonna see how to save some changes that we made to our files in a Git repository and use them later on uh, in some other branch or the same branch we are working on. For example, uh, we have seen, uh, we have uh, some component here and uh, let's say another component and we were doing some changes here, add something and so on and so on. Okay, and now uh, we would like to save these changes here uh, for later. So how to do that? Now we can do that uh, by using git stash. Git stash, it is a really simple command and we can provide a message here, minus M and add a message, uh, some, uh, some, change, some changes for later. Okay, hit enter and we have changed, uh, saved our working directory and index uh, on new branch that you're working on your branch. So uh, what's going on here? Uh, we can see right now in the source control that we have nothing here, but uh, we can do the following. We can use the uh, git stash command and say a uh, list. And now we can see on the index zero that we have uh, on the new branch uh, saved some changes for later, the message that we already added. So let's say that we are working on something else here and we add another change. And we would like to save that change as well. We can do the same, git stash and provide the message again and another change hit enter and now we have uh, another change here uh, if we type a uh, git stash list again hit enter now we can see that we have two changes here so uh, at this time uh, we're doing on something else in the same component on in the same branch doesn't matter and we add a new file and let's say that we have that file here and let's say okay component 2 JSX. Okay, this is some uh, example JSX project. And we say create a new component. Okay, save it. And we would like right now to uh, just to push these changes or commit them. Git status, git add, git commit with a message. And right now we are adding a message. Um, let's say new changes okay and git push i will just set upstream to a new origin branch okay and now we have uh, uh we have uh, added these changes and i can just uh, merge these changes create a pull request and do whatever i want okay Merge and pull request, confirm merge, and everything is done. Now I'm back here and I would like to switch to another branch. Let's say that, let's see uh, which branches I have here. We could do that with the typing git branch minus minus list. So we have these chains. Uh, I would like to switch to a uh, sub branch and I can use a git switch command and say sub branch. Hit enter and now I switch to some branch and uh, right now uh, I would like just to uh, apply these changes that uh, we already made I'll just clear this okay and let's say git stash uh, list oops git stash list without uh, minus minus in this case and we see uh, two indexes here and uh, let's say that I would uh, I would apply the first thing that we had here. That's, so that's some changes for the later. To do that, we can uh, just type git uh, stash apply and say index and add index one. And now uh, we can see that uh, we have added these changes here. So it was like this, and now it is add something. So uh, this is something that we changed to this file here, here. Okay, but if we go here and say, okay, git stash, 
list. And now we can see still uh, this stash here and this stash here. Uh, we could uh, remove this stash, but just uh, saying OK, git stash, remove, and just provide index, in this case 0, as we would like to uh, remove the second stash. Oops, uh, drop, sorry, git stash, drop, and provide that index 0, and it is dropped. So, clear. Git, uh, git stash list again. Now we can just see our uh, new branch or some changes for later that we want to apply. So now I'll just uh, discard these changes to show something else here. Uh, you could uh, add these changes and also clear the stash list. But uh, there is another option. Uh, instead of doing two, uh, uh, these two uh, commands, you could just uh, say the following. Okay, I will just use this uh, stash and delete it at once. So to do that, we can say uh, git stash pop and provide index. In this case, zero. And we have added this file and this change here again, as you can see here in the changes. But... Uh, if we clear this and go to the stash list again, we can see that there is nothing in the stash list. So uh, we have popped up, uh, popped out uh, this uh, this uh, uh, particular stash, uh, this, this actually concrete stash that we are uh, working on at zero index. So this is the applied change here. Uh, another thing that we can do, for example, I would like to stash this here without committing again you can add git stash message and i'll say okay here uh, this is something new again okay and uh, we have uh, saved these things here so if we do the uh, stash list again here uh, we can see now uh, that we have something new again here but uh, what if we add another thing here up here okay and we have another changes here and i would like to st uh, stash these changes again and the message new changes okay uh, we see now in our git stash list that we have two indexes and also another command to remove all stashes that we have that is uh, git stash clear uh, be aware that this will clear everything uh, from the stash that we have so uh, when we go right now here on the git stash list we can see that there is nothing to stash or to use and apply to our code so this is it when it comes to stash and i think that uh, i hope actually that this was helpful to you and uh, if you like the video of course uh, like it and uh, share it and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye